I want to go over something very briefly. And, uh, you know, I talked about the industrial demand for silver and demand destruction at very high prices. And I do believe it's going to go up. And also, it's partly because of what George Soros says. You know, I know he said way back, gold was going to be the ultimate, what? Well, he said it was gold was the ultimate bubble. That was George Soros, and everybody took it as George Soros says he's gold is in a, is a bubble right now. Now, he wasn't saying that, and I kind of read what he was saying. He's dropping hints. It's going to be the ultimate bubble. He bought GLD, but you really don't know what he has. He probably is buying as much physical as possible. He's got too much wealth. So he's going to go ahead and, um, well, he's a card player too. So he ain't going to tell you his game. But he did drop a big hint about gold being the ultimate bubble. And I always liked that when he said that because he flat out said, what's going to happen? People took it the opposite. I didn't. He is your, um, he's not the same. I mean, not all Jews think the same way, but that's almost that same way. They screw at your head <laughs> and uh, kind of throw hints out there, but make you think it's the opposite or whatever. But I thought that was extremely ob obvious and he's telling the truth. But I just want to talk about um, it's going to go to a high bubble because of debt crisis, panic. Currencies are going to go down, and there's going to be a, a panic into gold and silver. That's when you're going to make some serious money. And um, it would be better maybe I would feel uncomfortable about fiat money because I don't know which one is going to go to oblivion. And it would be better to make some trades for other hard assets at that time. In other words, when you see the gold-silver ratio go low, if it goes down to 15 to 1, you ought to be selling your silver. It might go to 10, possibly. But uh, the last time it went to 15 to 1, it was only there for like a day, even more like hours. So you got a small window of opportunity to act. And if you blow it because you're listening to the extreme silver bugs, and I think I'm actually probably too bullish on silver because I'm thinking it's going to go to at least 500 an ounce. That may be too bullish. But you know, there's people around it that tell me, um, and I'm, I'm figuring, you know, not too much inflation, not crazy inflation, but with inflation, pretty strong inflation going up that high. It could be higher. I think it's maybe going to go six or seven hundred possibly too. I could be, I could be wrong, and uh, but I think that's with inflation too, not hyper hyper inflation, but pretty strong inflation, strong inflation. But I wanted to go over something because um, talking about demand destruction, talked about silverware. Yeah, they wouldn't use silverware at thousand dollars an ounce, five hundred dollars an ounce. Jewelry, I think, the demand would be way down on that because it's a metal that tarnishes. And photography, I think the demand would be way down on that type of stuff. Or to find some other replacement for it if they're going to make uh, physical pictures, you know. They'd be mostly digital. Anyway, people will be going digital. Now, as far as uh, mirrors, I know they're using aluminum for that. But let's take, for instance, your average computer. I don't know if a lot of people, I got statistics, and I don't know, maybe they changed a little bit, but I read statistics several times, that your average computer has about an ounce of silver in it. An ounce. A full ounce. So if you're paying, you know, 600 bucks for a computer, whatever the hell it is, I don't know, maybe it's 800 300 whatever, you got thirty dollars worth of silver in it. So if it goes up to a hundred, it's a hundred dollars of silver in a computer. You just jack the price up a hundred bucks. It goes to a thousand. How many comp you think they're not going to find something else to put in that computer? That's what I'm talking about. Even the industrial applications are going to go way down because there's going to be people wanting to sell the same computer for less money. They're going to do that with cell phones. I don't know what's in a cell phone, but you know, say something even has a gram of something in it, right? You're talking a thousand dollars an ounce at thirty-two dollars, you just tacked onto the price. That could be a very small electronic device that maybe cost fifty or sixty dollars, and you just because it uses a gram of silver, that price went from sixty to ninety-two. It was ninety-six cents at thirty thirty dollars, so it jumped up, you know. Thirty-one dollars and um, nineteen cents because it went to a thousand dollars an ounce. So there's going to be serious demand destruction in the electronics industry, and obviously, 
if all these electronics are you know thousand dollars say it's a thousand say it's fifteen hundred that's a Mike Maloney number so your computer's gonna go up fifteen hundred bucks because it has an ounce of silver in it I don't know what a cell phone has I'm I don't know maybe it has one or two grams I don't know maybe it's gonna go up you know forty eight forty seven dollars to uh, ninety four dollars or ninety five dollars more because it has a a gram or two or silver just guessing say your average av average device so there will be very strong inflation just due to the fact that a lot of things use silver at these prices that's why I really look at so many people telling you <laughs> thousand dollars an ounce in real dollars only silver is going to go up and nothing else is like without inflation without inflation I don't know now if you're talking these are real dollars in real dollars the computer just having a price tag of nine hundred seventy dollars added on to it or fourteen hundred seventy dollars added on to it or nineteen hundred seventy dollars added on to the current price <laughs> you'd have to be trading in some silver to be buying some just a computer right a cell phone oh, I don't know any any device that's out there your monitors right anything that's electronic um, you figure anything that uses um, uh, automotive technology I mean technology today with the hybrid cars I know they're used the palladium is used there's 30 percent more palladium used in a hybrid car batteries the electronic components I mean I don't know how many ounces of silver are in a car but I imagine there's a lot more than uh, even a computer if you're considering a hybrid car with all electronics and batteries uh, I mean maybe if silver goes to fifteen hundred dollars an ounce I would figure there's probably maybe a few ounces of silver in there you just threw forty five hundred dollars onto the price of the car and it used to be ninety dollars for a few ounces so beware beware it's the really way to make money is to guess the highs sell and buy back low yeah very hard to do everybody wants to do that but the physical silver holders are never telling you to do that. They're telling you to hold, hold, hold. And I think at this price, 30 bucks, you should be holding, 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 holding. Problem is, later on, goes up here, up here, and telling you hold, hold, hold. I think it's going to go between these two numbers. It's probably going to be, I think it's probably going to clear 75. But then it's going to drop below 50. That's what I think is going to happen. It's a guess. But, you know, looking at the patterns of what's happened in the silver before, that seems to be pretty much what's going on with it, you know. And um, But just use some common sense. If Price is say, you know, this is Mike. I think Mike Maloney, he might be right. Maybe we might have some serious, serious inflation. You know, say, for instance, uh, Gold goes to nine thousand dollars an ounce. I mean, really, that's pretty damn high. But say it does, you know, silver maybe could go this high. I don't know. I don't know. That's a lot of inflation, though. That's a lot of inflation. A lot of inflation. But you're protecting your butt if you got your silver, your physical silver. So, but do beware that everything else is going to go up. It's just that the commodity and the asset class you're in temporarily big keyword temporarily is going to go up a hell of a lot faster than there are others other asset classes that's when you gotta make your trade obviously so watch the ratio and I don't know how these guys can even think this stuff you know where the price of silver could be thousand or fifteen hundred dollars an ounce and just knowing what how much silver even goes in these little electronic devices all those devices are going to be a lot more money a lot more money so I don't know to me it's uh, it's so simplistic it's 101 accounting math or whatever you want to call it and um, they're telling you otherwise and people are taking these things as face value facts um, but do hold the silver 30 bucks is cheap believe me that is very cheap you know I we don't nobody knows exactly how much inflation we're going to get so uh, I uh, my strategy personally is to sell in pieces guess the highs and if I see a severe pullback buy some of it back and uh, 
you know, probably hold on for uh, longer term a, 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 a reserve because I think, I don't know for 100% fact, and nobody knows for 100% fact what's going to happen with the currency. I don't even think the powers that be know. They could screw up too. So it's good to hold some silver and not sell all of it. That I would agree with. But just watch out. <laughs> it's a lot of people throwing so much BS out there. I can't believe it. And, uh, you know, 1500 bucks an ounce. I mean, I could think of a hell of a lot of products that include at least a gram of this stuff. They're going to go up that much more money. <laughs>